Hey y'all, it is October the 3rd, 2020, 2023, and y'all, I would like to point out that in this channel, a big uh, theme of this channel and behind the scenes as well, we're over here pursuing that macho madness, right? Uh, in general, fitness and in and health, all right? That's what we're pursuing. That being said, of course, you've noticed if you're pursuing something similar that there's a world, if not a galaxy, of propaganda, all right? No matter what you find on the internet, I don't care what you find, you're going to find the exact opposite and everything in between on the internet if you're looking for it. Like, for example... You could Google if watermelons are good for you. All right? That's an example. And you'll find a whole world of things talking about how watermelon is so amazing for you. And, and as far as fitness and health goes, it's going to go a long way. And then if you wanted to, you could Google watermelon and find out that it's the worst possible thing that you could ever put in your body. All right? And so this causes plenty of confusion, all right? It's caused confusion in my life, and it certainly it's going to cause confusion in anybody who likes to do research. That being said, many years into this abyss of endless propaganda, and I've figured out that you cannot just research stuff, look at all the propaganda, and somehow figure out what's correct, right? What's best to do in my estimate is to find a person, a person you like very much, and find out what they're doing. Perhaps they're in the fitness and health and stuff. They can give you some advice. Follow one person, because if not, you're going to be all over the place, and then later on you might follow a different person. You're not really married to that person you're just using them to keep your focus straight and not to be uh ran all around town by propaganda all right and i'm bringing that up for a good reason right here behind me speaking of propaganda is some propaganda that's been going heavy the past few days and if you google it erythra Heart attack, you're going to find this pop up real quick. These results suggest that consuming erythritol can increase blood clot formation. This in turn can increase the risk of heart attack and stroke. And notice that it was put up March 14, 2023. All right, before I continue, don't ever listen to a damn word I say, all right? You know, like I said, follow one person. Obviously, don't follow me because I'm the worst ever. Don't ever listen to me. Okay, that being said, I'm about to point out to you the extreme nature of this propaganda and how it's meant to destroy you and how these people think they're being slick. These people are wanting to poison and destroy us and all they think they're going to get over on us. Oh, because of their propaganda is too much for us. It's too much. Let me break it down. As somebody who's looked into this sort of stuff, okay, so recently they're trying to demon, demonize erythritol and saying it's causing cardiovascular events, it's causing risk of heart attack and stroke. Okay, you don't even have to know what erythritol is. To be honest, I, I don't have much of a clue what erythritol is, and you don't need to know, all right, because they give you all the clues. Mm -hmm. Check out the news, all right, CBS Miami. You got Effingham Radio, whatever that is, National Institutes of Health, goes on and on and on, newsroom. And we're talking about the past few months, a study length of birth, 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 to heart attack. Should you worry? Houston Dietitians Way study that links fake sugar to the heart disease. Flawed study links, and you got big thing, flawed study links sugar substitute or erythritol to heart attack and stroke. Okay, so from big think, they're obviously putting out contradictory information to what all these other so-called articles pertaining to stories 
are pointing out. They want to point out that erythritol, whatever it is, this sugar substitute is leading to heart attacks and strokes and everything else cardiovascular and is messed up. Okay, here's the proof that these people are lying. And here's the thing, they don't even have to be that intelligent. These people don't have to have the in, they don't have to have the incl, to intellect to know that they're lying to you. That doesn't need to be necessary. They just need to be on the same wavelength and vibration as Satan, and certainly they are. If Satan could tell you information, they would tell you this exact information. And let me point out the proof. All this is hypothetical, and I'm just making it up. And don't listen to me. Go, go ahead and consult your physician. Right. All right, but I'm here to tell you that there's a big, big thing that's happening all around the world in certain countries in particular, which is causing heart attacks, strokes, and blood clots to increase. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. Do you have some idea? You might have a guess as to what that is, all right? Now, if you have a guess to, as to what that is, you know full well that at all these news publications are going to vehemently uh, deny you. And they're going to call you conspiracy theorists and everything else at the mere idea of you bringing it up as a chance. Without any research or evidence, they're going to stare into your eyeballs and tell you that you have no evidence and that you're just making it all up. You're conspiracy theorist. So that's proof number one. I want to take that. If they would never in a million years consider that this thing that we're suspicious of could possibly ever give you heart attack strokes side effects of any kind of any nature all right they would never ever consider it but but when it comes to erythritol they can they consider it all day every day as you can see they don't stop considering it <laughs> why are they so concerned here but they're not concerned over there when everybody's pointing out and saying hey this could be a, a, dra a drastic side effect to y'all's mystery potion, they say, pish posh, it could never, ever be the case. We're not even going to look into it because uh, we're not going to. <laughs> but erythrit erythritol, oh yeah, we think that's connected. We think that's seriously connected to, guess what, heart attacks, strokes, blood clots, does that sound familiar? Oh, it, hypothetically, it looks like y'all are trying to make excuses why there's so many heart, heart attacks, strokes, and blood clots. It almost seems like your propaganda is like d directed towards uh, mitigating that whole situation. It almost seems like that. On, on the other hand, if you want more proof, you want more proof. Okay, all the other artificial sweeteners, when you're talking about erythritol and you're talking about stevia and stuff like that, that's a different separate category of sugar substitutes. And one might say that they're more time tested and they're more um, safer. They have a safer track track record then other artificially laboratory uh nazi science uh concoctions such as aspartame such as um sucralose it goes on and on flame, potassium it goes on and on these things give you cancer they break up your dna they'll give you diabetes um i, I can't even remember they'll give you autism and dementia and I'm not kidding. Google aspartame and dementia. Google aspartame and autism. See what you find right now. <laughs> Nazi science. Don't take my word for it. I have no idea what I'm talking about. But oh, these things will lead to all sort of devastation in your health. But we're putting them, we're putting them in every single product that you could possibly buy at the grocery store to include Prime, <laughs> to include Celsius and all those. You're going to get sucralose and or diabetes and cancer. <laughs> You're going to get autism and dementia from this. But don't worry about it. That's not a big deal. In fact, erythritol over there, that's a big deal. That's going to give you heart attacks and strokes and blood clots, just like our so-called concoction that we're not never going to admit it and we're not never going to look into it. That's how you know it. With all the confusing propaganda, it's also very confusing but that's how you can know you have 1,000 percent positive that erythritol is actually probably pretty good for you. It's probably a good sugar substitute, more than likely, all right? Because here's the proof all over the place. 
And even Big Cake will come out and tell you this is a flawed study that they're talking about. This is a, one of those flawed studies that if you're you, if you're in an aspartame game and you're in a sucralose game, you want to play it off and pretend like that's the most safe things that Nazis ever thought about. Oh, this is just so safe. It's not giving you diabetes or cancer currently. Oh, no, it's so damn safe. But however, that thing over there, that, that thing over there that's um, affecting our bottom line, that artificial sweetener over there that's actually a, uh, should put us out of business. No, that's what's causing you heart attacks and strokes and blood clots and everything else. No, this is the demonized thing right here. This is what's going to do you in, even though we know full well the Nazi science is behind all the cancer. You, you want to go on a walk for cancer? You want to go on a walk for breast cancer? I'm sure there's a lot that's taking place. Now let's go on 5Ks and all sort of stuff for breast cancer, even though everything at the store is being pumped full of sucralose and it's going to do us in. Oh, we got secret mystery potion. We don't know why we're falling over with heart attacks and strokes and blood clots and everything else. It might be the erythritol that is uh, killing us. All right? And the propaganda. Oh, they think they're so slick, like we can't figure it out. Uh, I want to see up in the comment section, especially if you have other stuff that there's other stuff that they're slipping in that'll give us cancer and diabetes and everything else. What other stuff are they slipping in? And they think that they're very slick about it. All right. We're here to get our health and our fitness together and catch that macho madness. All right. I'm not taking no for an answer. It is October the 3rd, 2000 and 2023. Don't ever listen to me because it's not obvious that they're trying to kill you. Don't listen to me. Ahala, it's October the 3rd, 2020, 2023.